Hello everyone, I'm Cass, your community guide through the enchanting world of AFK. AFK Journey is a beautifully crafted fantasy RPG coming soon to PC and mobile platforms. Every four months, we plan to roll out new expansions that further the narrative of this world. Set in an age long forgotten, the mortals of Asperia once looked skyward, seeking guidance and salvation from their gods. It's said that in times of great peril, the gods would bestow divine swords upon chosen heroes, symbol of might and hope. In AFK Journey, you step into the role of a powerful magician called Merlin. Once the chief mage of Asperia, you lost your powers and memory in a fierce battle. To save this world, now plunged into chaos yet again, you embark on adventurous journeys across various corners of Asperia. From the bustling town of Holy Stone to the mysterious Shimmerwood, the beautiful and lore-rich desert, and these ancient forgotten temples. Prepare to witness miracles, solve age-old mysteries, and face unknown dangers and challenges. As you can see so far, we're brimming with endless imagination for the world of Asperia. To better capture our imagination, we've created a new unique art style, and we call it Life Canvas. Life Canvas is like living art. The drawings and animations immerse you in the magic of the world. For example, as the mist thickens, the scene becomes increasingly enchanting. To achieve this effect, we used a mix of wet-on-wet wet and wet-on-dry techniques, perfectly replicating the traditional style in a modern fashion. You'll find that from day to night, various weather conditions, clouds in the sky, and your position on the map all interact with the world of Asperia. Everything is alive. Along the way, you'll meet a group of trustworthy companions from six different factions, each with their own stories and secrets. These characters will play crucial roles in your adventure, helping you regain your strength and memory, guiding you towards your ultimate destiny. Let's meet one of the intriguing characters, Vala, from the Empire of the Light Bearers. By day, she's a noble lady of distinguished heritage, gracefully mingling among the elite as a philanthropist. But as night falls, Vala transforms into a skilled vigilant, striking at the dark secrets of the elite. Vela has two combat forms, switching between them with her ultimate skill, Swift Shift. When cast on an empty tile, she jumps to that tile, switching to her Sky Blaster form and damaging enemies. When cast directly on an enemy, she switches to her Sword form, delivering piercing physical attacks. Vela's unique Notice mechanism enables her to target the farthest or nearest enemy for precise and swift elimination. Beyond the Empire of the Light Bearers, there are other renowned realms in Asperia's history, such as the Bantu's Empire. We now see the Imperial Sovereign, Thorin. When alive, Thorin was lauded as a wise ruler, bringing his empire to glory until the rebellion ended his life. Now he returns as an undead, eager to unleash his fury and hatred upon the world. Thorin's ultimate skill, Soul Retaliation, allows him to charge up and then deal high damage to nearby enemies. He's immune to control effects while casting the skill and gains additional life drain effects. As you can see, each hero has their unique abilities. But how deep do these skills go strategically? Next, we'll introduce the game's strategic aspects with examples and showcase more heroes and gameplay for you. To elevate the tactics in AFK Journey, we've implemented a bullet timing approach. With this tactic, time slows down and you have manual control over timing and targets of each hero's ultimate skill. 
Let's take a look at this battle. As multiple enemies are about to unleash their ultimates, Cecia seizes the moment to summon Mr. Carlisle for a timed interruption. Then Huyn uses her ultimate to cast a healing rain, giving the allies a prolonged advantage for victory. Aside from the bullet timing mechanic, we've also designed the new chessboard tactics. In this system, the placement of characters greatly influences their attack and defense priorities, thus impacting the battle's outcome. Take the arena as an example. The enemy uses Viparian as the main damage dealer, Huyn and Rowan for dual support, and Iger to stall for time. In contrast, we send Seth and Brian for single target burst damage, Adi for his instant kill ability, and Rhaenyra for his skill to swap hero positions with opposing sides. In the first battle, Adi is placed in a position that keeps his attack only at enemy Thorin. However, Thorne's resurrection mechanic prevents Adi from quickly getting our kills. This drags the battle on, and we lose Adi to enemy Viparian's burst damage. This subsequently leads to our defeat. Now let's try again. In the second battle, we have the same hero lineup, but we simply swap Adi's position with Brian. This time, Adi's priority becomes the enemy Rowan instead of Thorin, and Rowan falls almost instantly because of our high burst damage. Our strategy of single target burst damage works this time, removing enemy heroes one by one, and we finally win our victory. This gameplay demonstrates how even with the exact same lineup, a slight adjustment in character positioning can turn defeat into victory. Apart from these tactics, the new mechanisms of interactive objects also play a significant role in our new design. Let's take a look at this tactical drill level design. In this level, only one hero can be assigned, and we select Cassidy. She looks so fragile in front of the two aggressive Gruglins. What can she do? She casts her ultimate Running Tide to push the enemies near the Flame Gusher on the top left corner. Right after that, she triggers the Flame Gusher, dealing extra damage to both Gruglins. With that, she manages to clear the level with opponents way stronger than herself. If Cassidy didn't position her ultimate and time the Flame Gusher right, she wouldn't be able to deal the same amount of damage and that wouldn't allow her to get out of the situation. Flame Gusher is just one of the game's new mechanisms. There are so many others, including Ice Bitters that freeze opponents, Spiked Locks that roll across the battlefield, High Pressure Mines that detonate in conjunction with Fire Traps, and so much more, waiting for your exploration. We've designed these strategies to offer you more and deeper gameplay mechanics beyond just power values. Of course, in addition to these tactics, we've also continued the AFK tradition of just going AFK. Not only can you keep receiving rewards while AFK, but we're also introducing the new resonance system. You only need to focus on building five heroes in the entire pool, and the rest will automatically level up with them. Additionally, equipment is shared amongst the same class, so you don't need to collect, forge, and upgrade gear for each hero individually. In this regard, it's even more AFK than ever before. AFK Journey's closed beta test begins on February the 1st. You can find the test link in the description below. By participating, you'll receive special rewards when the game officially launches, so don't miss out. You can also pre-register now on the Apple App Store and Google Play Store. All of you who pre-register will receive at launch an exclusive skin set for Merlin, 10 free pools, get Hero Laika, and many more perks. So go ahead and pre-register now. AFK Journey is a brand new addition to the AFK series. Here, we aim to create a game that embodies the spirit of AFK while bringing you more strategies, more effortless hero progression, more intriguing stories, and a more beautiful world. 
If you like the game, please follow us on social for the latest official news. Thank you for watching this introduction. We'll see you all soon in the game this year.